Hey, I'm Shane Dieter. I own Dieter Custom Saddlery in LaSalle, Utah. Uh, my parents moved to, to LaSalle in 1971 to take a ranch job for uh, LaSalle Livestock. And so I've been in San Juan County since then, which I was a year old at that time, so I've been here a long time. My dad had uh, a full-time cowboy job when I was growing up, and on the side he would make uh, leather belts and uh, just tool tooled leather type projects. And so he, he was gracious enough to let me use his tools when I was very young, and that's kind of what got my interest started. And then in the mid 80s, my dad changed jobs to work for the government and to supplement his income, he learned to repair boots from a guy in Blanding and picked up some repair equipment. So during my high school years and my college years, I repaired boots and repaired saddles and made some custom items while I was in school. And so after that, I graduated high school and I didn't finish college, came home and started Dieter Custom Saddlery in 1994. Wow, that's a long time ago. <laughs> Didn't seem that long ago. I uh, had to keep a, a lot of part-time jobs to, to keep the business running. But I started building custom saddles. And then in 99, I learned to build custom boots from a gentleman in Colorado. So I measure people's feet and, and build whatever they ask me to build. And so I've been doing that ever since. And in the last, oh, probably seven, eight years, I've done a lot of wholesale accounts with other companies, so they'll contract me to build saddles or boots for them, and then they'll put their own label on them. And that's that's one way I've been able to stay uh, alive in this business, because it fluctuates. Some days it's lucrative, and some days it's not so lucrative. So, so I have, oh, like you see here, 21 pair of boots on the bench right now. That's been kind of a weekly thing for the last two years. But typically saddles, I will do two in a week when they're when I do custom saddles. And then if I'm doing contract stuff, they'll be more like four in a week. I was invited to compete in a, a, a competition in Arizona by the Traditional Cowboy Artists Association, uh, which is kind of a big deal to be invited to compete in there. And so I built a saddle that's called the 50 State Saddle, and I took every flower from every state and, and put it into that that floral pattern and so and it's a real unique saddle so that's probably the one I'm most proud of uh, the state of Utah the artists and museums department of Utah contracted me to build a pair of boots for their museum so I do have a pair of boots in the in the art museum up in Salt Lake and that was something I thought I was proud of that as well and it's a floral pattern that's all sago at least the state flower and then there's a scene of the arches and a scene of the mittens from Monument Valley on there. So those were things I was proud of. But I enjoy the art part of it the most. And sometimes it's work and sometimes it's art. That's me.